In this video I will show how to properly assemble IKEA Pax wardrobe with IKEA Haswick sliding doors. Mine is actually a 35cm steep closet, but the wardrobe is 57cm steep. The installation process is very similar. Overall, I am really happy about the quality and look of that closet. Definitely worth buying. 35cm deep and 75cm wide, IKEA Pax frame comes in a really heavy 32kg package. Unpacking, you will find some necessary parts. It is a good idea to remove these pointless stickers before installing them. Gasoline removes glue really easily. Now mount these wall fixing adapters. Two pieces. Next, find these screws. Four up and four down. Find the shelf with holes and two nuts. Penetrate them well with a hammer. Push towels into the holes. Find two legs and do that nice thing again and screw them in. Take the upper shelf and connect it with this shiny thing. Same with the lower shelf and connect again. Find this clever plastic adapter for nailing and nail the corners.
then everywhere with 10 to 15 centimeter gaps. And one shelf is ready. Repeat the same process on the second frame. Now you need to level the wardrobe. There are different instruments to level. If you don't have any, you can use a thin rope with weight. Mark the whole centers. I will remove the baseboard, so I will mark that also. Unlevel the closet. And move them away. Use the hammer mode on the drill or use the perforator. A vacuum cleaner will reduce the dust. I use a user stone dowel. Depends on what type of wall you have. With drywall you need other special dowels. The multi-tool will save you some time. Without an oscillating saw, you need to remove the whole baseboard, cut it and install it again. Now move the frames back in place and level the closet. Leave a bit playroom, otherwise it will unlevel the wardrobe. Check again the level. Make both frames even and use the same clamps for fixation. Drill with 5 mm wood bit. Now we have the frames in place and we are ready to mount IKEA Hasvik sliding doors.
inside the package you can find a lot of stuff. Place the upper rail in the center and mark two points. Tap with the pointer or a screw that mark. Try to screw straight. For final tightening, it is good to use a hand tool. Now you need to install four of them. Six pieces of that. Cover lower rail ends with a special plastic. Six screws here. Carefully glue this rubber to the aluminium. and screw that to the panel. If you want doors to be as in the picture, then you need to screw that on the opposite way. Mine is like that. Now glue that soft stuff on the other side. Just take your time and don't hurry. Screw the wheels and this plastic for dust protection. Now glue four pieces to protect the other door from scratches. According to the manual, it is time to cut out a small piece of rubber. I failed with dimensions and now it is ugly. I suggest cutting it after the door is installed, so you get exact measures. Now the door is ready for mounting. You need to unlock the stopper on both sides.
make sure that you place it on the inner groove. Lock the stoppers. On the lower rail you need to use an inner groove. Place adapter there and screw it to the doors. Two pieces. Now prepare the second door. On the second door you need to screw all adapters before installation. Check if the stopper is in the open position. Like so. Now this part is really tricky. After many attempts I figured out that using cartons on the floor can help. After moving the rear door behind the front door, you need to find the correct rail groove and move the lower adapter in it. Then lift the door up and add some more cartons for support. Check with fingers if it is in the correct place. Now lift some extra millimeters more and move upper wheels on the rails. Really nice feeling when it clicks in place. Check both doors. Don't forget to lock the stoppers so doors don't fall down. Now screw the final finishing trims in place and regulate the door stopper in the correct position. Now you can install IKEA complement shelves and some white plastic covers. Thanks for listening to my beautiful voice.